M99.3 KNSI. Welcome to Taking You Home with Voight Johnson Real Estate. Now you can hear this program every Thursday morning at 723 and Saturday morning at 750 on KNSI. Remember, start your home search at VoightJohnson.com. Heidi Voight, good morning. Good morning. Now, last time you and I talked, uh, some great information about, oh my gosh, uh, there are so many opportunities out there for buyers and for sellers. Right now, I think we're going to, what, maybe take a snapshot for the recent market. Uh, what are we doing? Should we sell our house? Should we not sell our house? What do you think? Well, I'm always a proponent for people selling their homes because yeah. that's what I do. Um, but more of a proponent for getting people to be where they want to be. Yeah. Um, and I think all of that is impacted on how we're negotiating deals in the current environment. Okay. Patience can be very hard to have. Yes, it can. <laughs> so how do we develop that skill when it comes to buying or selling our home? Well, it's going to be impactful. I think right now what I'm seeing is that the average days on market for homes is really mimicking what we had last year, um, and which is like right around 26, 27 days yeah. on market. Um, I had predicted earlier in the year that I thought over year over year it was probably going to be closer to about 33. We will creep into some of that, and I think part of that is that we are still in a seller's market statistically, yeah. Yeah. like 2% inventory right now. Um, and that is the environment that created a lot of multiple offers and situations where, you know, all these buyers were, you know, coming in and saying, I need this product. And sellers basically didn't have to do a whole heck of a lot to get their house moved. Right. Because the demand was there. And that and that comes into play with what we talked about last time. The rental rates were going up. Mm -hmm. It made so much sense with the current interest rates for buyers to be buyers and um, sellers were being able to sell at higher prices. So I remember very well houses being on the market for 30, 60 when they hit the 90 day mark. Then we would reevaluate just a little bit. Is the, is the price too high? All that kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, to me, that's normal, right? It, it, it is a more of a normal market. And I do think that we're not going to hit that 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 same scenario, but I do think that it's going to take people a little bit longer. But And it's a twofold situation. Part of it is that we're in kind of this impasse where we're in a seller's market from the perspective of inventory levels, but when we're negotiating deals, it feels like the buyers have a little bit of control now. And the, the reason I'm saying that is we're seeing things where buyers are doing inspections uh -huh. and they're able to negotiate things after inspections and buyers are putting into contracts concessions in order to buy down their points or pay for some of their closing costs. And those things are being agreed upon. Um, in this last week, I've done a few deals where we've actually asked for things as part of the initial purchase agreement where we went and said, we're going to offer you this and we want you to pay this for our closing costs. And we also want you to fix that one window that is going to need to be repaired so we don't have to try to negotiate that after inspection. Interesting. And so those are things that you see in more of a typical buyer's yeah, market. Yeah, that's normal. Yeah. So so it's kind of a kind of a neat situation where sellers are still going to do really well on their homes, but it's not going to be to the detriment of the buyers getting something you know, a quality product. How does this affect what you do from your office perspective at Voight Johnson? Well, I don't. I wouldn't say effect. I think what it would. What I would say is that it enhances the ability of what we already know how to do. Okay. And I think what it's going to do is make more relevant that there are people out there that don't know how to do that. Is it easier for you to make this shift mentally, right? Because the market is going through some changing right now. Um, I think that it's gradual, yeah. and I think that. Um, you know, the, the whole thing is you really have to pay attention to it because if you're an agent and then you've only been doing, for example, you know, sales with sellers and you're not really representing buyers, you don't do both, you, it's going to be hard to make that shift saying, well, it's not a seller's market anymore or whatever. It still is a seller's market, but where the rates are, people do not want to take on other people's mistakes or things that weren't done. So, so it's kind of an impasse yep. at this point. I do think that there are going to be some agents that are going to have to really coach their sellers and say, you know, this is our new normal. And, um, and it, it's, it's a good thing for everybody. Yeah. 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 I walked through a house. This is 15 years ago. Yeah. We're going to, we're looking at a house in Sartell. I loved it. And then I'm looking at, it was a do it yourselfer. 
right? And every piece of trim was like at least an eighth of an inch short. Sure. Ah! Drive me crazy. Didn't buy that house. Yeah. You know, how long have you guys been doing real estate at Voight Johnson? Um, well, our, we've been in business since 2017, okay. and prior to that, we were with a larger brokerage. Sure. So Brandon and I together have um, been doing this since about 2009. Okay. Um, but we have agents in our office that have been selling real estate upward of 25 years. So, so the yeah. reason I ask this yeah. is we go back yeah. right to the days where the bottom dropped out yeah. of the market. Well, things come back, and we saw these ridiculously low interest rates. I guess where I'm going with this is experience really makes the difference. It does make the difference, and, and I think that that's where um, our value is um, really going to shine in the, the coming months with people. Um, and it's what people deserve when they're going through a home and trying to um, determine what their price is, what they're going to sell for, and you know what somebody's buying. Hey, I wanted to ask you this. So I've got a brother-in-law that is a geek when it comes to writing everything down, right? Yeah. Change the furnace filter, did this, did that to the house, put a new toilet in, whatever, snake this, did that, right? Yeah. So how important is that for the next person buying that home? Does that matter to them? It, that's a great question. And I think that um, it comes down to personality. The people who are record keepers... Yeah cannot understand when sellers are selling a house and they don't have records. Yeah, exactly. And right. people that aren't record keepers are like, whatever, we'll yeah. just figure it out. So, I mean, it's it's kind of like car, car owners. My husband's car I was just going is there like, with a the car. Yeah, Absolutely. He, he is excellent at it. And I have got a car that, you know, is, is not in the same condition as him. Yeah, a lot yeah. of user errors on that car. Yeah, but, <laughs> so. but it's perfect, right? Because if I'm going to buy that house and I know it has been that well maintained, it's like buying the meat from the butcher. Absolutely, right? absolutely. So so it does come into play for sure. And just because people don't have records doesn't mean they haven't done things. Absolutely. But that's just, you know, part of, of evolving to what your client needs and knowing that this person's a great record keeper. Asking those questions in advance before right. you go see a home or after you've seen a home, say, you know, other than this seller's disclosure, what kind of other records do they have? When was the last time the furnace was maintained? All right. those details, because that's going to create consumer confidence. Well, if I can have a record, if I'm buying a house and I know that that furnace has been inspected yep. once a year, happy. Yep. Right? Yep. Those big ticket items, yep. man, that is the answer. It's a big That'll deal. close the sale. It will. For, for, for some people, it definitely will. Yeah. All right. Heidi, how can we work with you at Voight Johnson Real Estate? Give us a call at 320 I'm sorry. 320-774-2400. Or um, our website has a great gallery of agents that are waiting to work with you at VoightJohnson.com. All right. You have been listening to Taking You Home with Voight Johnson Real Estate on KNSI. Every Thursday morning at 723, Saturday at 750, be sure you start that home search at VoightJohnson.com. Heidi, thank you. Thank you.